Getting into Solar Blue has been the biggest thrill of my life. It's turned out to be everything I'd ever imagined. The house is great, the surfing's fabulous, and everyone's really terrific. So why am I feeling like the biggest loser south of the equator? I mean, look at Bridget, my roommate. Nothing phases her. She's so well organised and always in control. Lauren, you don't have to do that, you know. Wear one of my shirts if you like. No, it's OK. I've been meaning to do it for ages. Oh, well, anytime you want. Just help yourself. Even Bridget's clothes are well organised. Everything's beautiful, nothing's out of place. Just like her, really. Lauren! Bridget! Anybody? Coming. Then, of course, there's Cassie. Nothing and no one intimidates her. Cassie? Down here. Can you come over the other side? I need your help for a second. Cassie, what are you doing? Luton. Sorry? Oh. Would you believe this little guy decided he wants to share my room? Much as I like him, I really think he should be outside. Can you take him? Take him? I just need both hands to get out of here. Oh, sure, right. You won't bite. Here. Easy. There you go, little mate. You got him? Yeah. I couldn't tell Cassie, but reptiles freak me out. This guy knows it too. Even he thinks I'm a loser. He's a cute little fella, isn't he? Yes, yeah, sort of. Come on, little mate. Let's find you a proper place to Seeing Cassie down. so Ow. at ease with that lizard made me feel totally hopeless. It seemed to prove that, just like Bridget, Cassie was in control of her life and I wasn't. As for the boys, they all had their acts together in no time flat. Guy was a bit loofy sometimes, but he loved surfing so much he didn't care what people thought of him. As long as he could surf, he was happy. Adam seemed totally together about everything. A volcano could erupt next door and he wouldn't even bat an eyelid. As for Charlie, he was so confident it was scary. He knows what he wants and nothing's going to stop him. The thing that made me feel most inadequate though was just how great Cassie and Bridget were on their boards. I thought I could surf, but they were awesome. So here I was. I'd got into Solar Blue, but in no time flat, I wasn't even in the race. Right, people, let's not make this too formal. I just wanted us to quickly get together so we could officially say, welcome, Gary. Welcome, Gary. Thank you. Look. I know it wasn't easy for you guys to choose between me and Dave, and Bex explained about the issues you guys sorted through. Yeah, well, it's all Charlie's fault. If you end up hating us all, then he's the man to take it out on. Don't listen to them. Well, hopefully no one's going to hate anyone. I just want to say that I'm grateful for the opportunity you've given me, and I will do my best not to let you down. Any questions? Yeah, yeah. Um, when will we find out about the sort of training programs you have in mind? I'll need to get to know you a bit first. Then I'll drop your schedules. Probably about a week or so. OK. Oh, cool. It's a week of freedom before the hard stuff starts. <laughs> Not exactly. If we're going to get acquainted, we should start as soon as possible. Go! OK, come on, that's it. Dig in. I want to see you really digging in. Come back, out as you go forward. 20 seconds to go. Go! Come on, guys, I want to see you do this in under five minutes. I've just died. Oh, that makes two of us. If this is just getting acquainted, imagine what it's going to be like when the real training starts. Very good, guys. Very good. We wanted an idea of your basic fitness levels, and now we've got them. So how did we do? Yeah, and don't feel shy about being positive either. Overall, we think the signs are very promising. Promising? What does that mean? It means just that. Promising. Now let's move on to stage two of getting acquainted. Oh. Come on.
How do we go, coach? Interesting. Is that good interesting or bad interesting? Interesting, interesting. At this stage, we're just looking to pinpoint your strengths and weaknesses. Then we're going to tailor some programs aimed at developing your strengths and eliminating your weaknesses. So, Gary, what about those of us who are already perfect? <laughs> well, if and when we ever find them, we'll let you know. OK, Cassie, Bridget, three guys, lunch break. Lauren, I just need to see you five minutes ago. Uh, Gary, it's Lauren. Ah, oh, Lauren, I'm sorry. I've, I've got a cousin named Lorna. Don't worry, by the end of the year, I should have all your names right. If I needed a sign that my place here was shaky, then Gary just gave it to me. Not only am I the one single person to be kept back, but guess whose name is the one he can't remember? Right. Not the greatest work of art, but it'll do. Jump on, take your natural stance. Yep, good. Right. Now get in the position you were when riding a wave. OK. There's no tactful way of saying this, so I'm going to be blunt. Oh, no. He's going to tell me I'm not good enough. The problem with a lot of girl surfers is they stick their butts out too far. Now, what that does is it throws your weight away from the centre and affects your balance, right? So I want to see you straighten up a bit, OK? Once you get your balance, then you get control and manoeuvrability. You'll be sweet. Whether you join the pro circuit or not, focusing on that will make you a much better surfer. I'll see you up at the house. Hey, Mike. Whether you join the pro circuit or not, it's obvious, isn't it? He doesn't think I measure up. All because of my stupid butt. It was no surprise, I guess. Ever since I can remember, I've always been embarrassed about my butt. It's either been too big or it's stuck out. Now it was stopping me from doing the only thing I really wanted. I hated it. Admiring your good looks, are you? No, no, just checking a technique thing Gary showed me. Yeah, Cassie and I are both jealous, you know. Jealous? Yeah, you get personalised coaching right off the bat and we get banished to the house. Talk about favouritism. You've got nothing to worry about on that score, trust me. All right, well, we can't to lunch and we're all waiting. Sorry, I'll be right down. Mmm. This is good stuff, Gary. Yeah, where did you learn to cook? I'm one of the byproducts of life on the pro circuit. If you don't look after yourself, no one else will. Oh, see, Charlie, points for housework do have relevance after all. Right, I believe you. I promise I won't moan about it again. <laughs> so, Gary, why did you quit the circuit after only four years? Didn't you like it? <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm travelling the world as a pro surfer, that's as good as it gets. Really? So why quit? Well, it doesn't matter what sport you're in, there's one thing that'll do you in every time. Injury? I got careless. I hit some rocks, snapped a leg. And? And it's back together OK, but I lost just enough flexibility to take the edge off my surfing. And if you don't have the edge? Exactly. When you're up against the best in the world, you have to have everything going for you. One small fault and you might as well stay at home. That's why the training program will be tough. We'll be pushing you hard to sort out your technique and get you super fit. Yeah, speaking of which, you haven't told us how we went today. Yeah, are we in the race or totally hopeless? Basically, you're where I'd expect you to be at this stage of the year. Doesn't tell us much. <laughs> yeah, how much do we need to improve by? About 40%. 40%? We're not that unfit. We couldn't be. You're not unfit compared to most people. But you are unfit compared to the best surfers in the world. Which is where you need to be by the end of the year. Maybe I'll become a nuclear scientist. Sounds a bit easier. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, sorry to interrupt. We're going down the mall to see a movie. Wondered if you'd like to come. Normally, I'd be in like a shot. But one of the joys of my job is paying the bills, especially those ones screaming to be paid yesterday. Thanks for the thought, though. That's cool. Bye. Okay. I thought everyone was going to the movies. Oh, we are. I mean, they are. I didn't feel like it. Funny. I thought you were the one in favour of the group doing things together. You know, wanting everyone to get along. I am. I do. So... It's just... I don't think I'll be here much longer. That sounds pretty radical. Do you want to tell me about it? It's pretty obvious, isn't it? One of the things you will learn about me, Lauren, is that I'm fairly simple-minded. I need things explained to me a lot of the time. Like now, for instance. Cassie and Bridget, they're such great surfers. Yeah? 
And they're both so... so confident and on top of everything. And what? You're not? Is that what you're saying? Not like them. And then when Gary told me I had a big butt... He what? Well, not a big butt, but that it stuck out and upset my balance. It does. Exactly. So, like, everyone's talking about being elite athletes and world-class surfers. And I'm like some preschooler who can't even stand on my board properly. I mean, we've had one training session and already I've got this neon sign in my head flashing class retard. Lauren. Let's establish a few facts, OK? One, you are not the class retard. And two, you're a terrific surfer. That's why you were selected to come here in the first place. It's not just the surfing bag. The others are all so together. They know who they are and where they're going. I don't have that. I'm just not in their league. OK, here's a deal. We've organised a surf comp tomorrow afternoon against some local surfers. There will be three independent judges, so you can get a completely objective view of how you compare to Cassie and Bridget. Let's hold off any decisions about leaving until then, OK? OK. I understand what Beck was trying to tell me, but the facts were the facts. There were five kids ready to take on the world. And there was me. How could I possibly compete? Let's go, guys. We've got half an hour to test the surf before the comp starts, so let's make the most of it. Come on, you lot. I'll see you down there. Hey, can I make a suggestion? About what? Well, this board here might suit your style a bit better. You notice my style? Yeah, it has slightly thicker rails, so it could work for you. Sure, why not? I mean, it's not that much different than your own board, but it could give you that little bit extra. I think I need more than a little bit extra, but thanks for the offer. It's really nice. No worries. All right, guys, listen up. There'll be three heats, guys first, then girls. You'll be marked out of ten for each heat. Don't hold back. Really show us what you got. All right? It's funny, but when you know you can't win, all your fears drop away. Cassie and Bridget seriously wanted to do well, but I'd soon be on a bus home. All I wanted was to just get out there and enjoy myself. easily outscored the others, so we'll be a shoo-in for both boys and girls comps. Which is disappointing, really. I was hoping for some stiffer competition to test you guys out a bit. Well, you know, we can't help it if we're so good, can we? Yeah, <laughs> come on, Gary. It's not our fault. Very true. So, Beck and I have decided to spice things up a bit. We're going to make this comp count towards your end-of-year points. How? Three points each to the winning boy and girl, two points for second, one for third. It'll be based solely on your scores in this last heat, so right now you're all in a position to win. Pull out all the stops on this one, you've got nothing to lose. And three big ones to gain. <laughs> Yeah. 
also good, aren't they? Who do you think will get it? It's too close to call. Nice work, man. <laughs> Likewise, bro. Nothing in it, I reckon. Heading out the back, trying to get something bigger. It's not much time left. She could miss out completely. I did tell him to take a risk. This would be the last time I'd surf Blue Water Beach. So I wanted to make sure I got the best of it. That's why I was out the back, hoping for one last big set to roll in. I wasn't disappointed. Lawrence chancing her arm a bit. Oh, you leave her alone. She's allowed to try something a bit different. Pardon? Yeah, do I sense a bit of favouritism here? No, I just think you guys should appreciate it when someone shows a bit of initiative. See? Yeah. For sure, man. <clears throat> Come on. Yeah, she judged that perfectly. To a T, I'd say. Get off! This is my way! Oh, ouch! Man, that's some wipeout. It wasn't how I planned to finish up here. But I guess if it's not meant to be, then it's not meant to be. Well, I suppose we're all sweating on who got the points. Yeah, I thought you'd forgotten. It'd be good to at least get a hint. Well, I hate to admit it, but you all did surprisingly well. Especially given that you had next to no preparation. Well, you know, it's called natural talent. Ah, ha, ha, ha. The boys' scores were? Nothing in it, guys. Adam and Charlie both scored eights, and Guy, would you oh. believe it, an eight and a half. Oh, yeah! Woo-hoo! So Guy's bagged three points towards his end of year tally. You two split the rest, one and a half each. Well done, Guy. Uh, not a bad afternoon's work, I reckon. Hey? <laughs> and the girls? Bridget and Cassie both scored eight. Ooh, stakes. Nice. Lauren, bad luck this time, a zero. Well, it's not fair that Lauren got taken out by some amateur who didn't know the road rules. Yeah. Idiots like that should be banned. It's my fault. I chose to go for a bigger wave out the back. It didn't come off. That's it, in a nutshell. It was a high-risk strategy. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Today, Lauren was unlucky and she lost. End of story. End of story. Anyway, Bridget and Cassie walk away with two points towards their end of your tally, and Lauren gets one. A great start to the year, guys. Keep that up and there'll be no stopping you. Now, did I hear someone say food? Yeah. Chips, guy. Um, oh, I know you like them. Go on. Yes. Can you resist? Thanks, man. Um, does anyone need some tomato? Yes, please. Go. Oh! Can I have a go? Can I have a go? Ah, thank you. Thank you. is one of the many things I've never been able to master. I just can't get my fingers to do what my brain tells them to. Yeah, well, when you've got a limited wardrobe, you don't have much choice. You did well today, Lauren. Yeah, must have been one of the best last placings ever. Actually, it was. Look, Beck, I know you're trying to be nice, but you can't change my mind about leaving. So I was messed up by the other competitor. I still wouldn't have scored numbers like Cassie and Bridget. I'm out of my depth here. We had a deal that we would see how you compared with the other two. And we've seen it. They got eights and I got a zero. That pretty much sums it up, I reckon. I don't think so. 
What's that? The judges' marks. The independent judges who didn't know you, Bridget or Cassie from a bar of soap. You were way ahead after those first two heats. Did I really score nines? And if you hadn't wiped out in the last heat, you probably would have scored another nine, at least. I couldn't have been this good. Well, you are. And all three judges are telling you that. Even with? Even with your butt out. Just imagine the numbers you'll rack up when you straighten up a bit. You're a real surfer, Lauren. And if you could just stop beating yourself up, there's no telling how far you can go. But or no but? <laughs> yeah, but or no but. <laughs> you know, there's a pool game going on downstairs. I think they could use another player. It's silly, isn't it? How one little bit of paper can change everything. OK, I came last in the comp, but suddenly I wasn't the loser I'd felt I was. I still thought Cassie and Bridget were awesome, but at least they weren't totally out of my league now. And who knows, by the end of the year, I might even have a chance against them. Hey, Charlie. Hi. Charlie, when you said you thought this board would suit my star, what do you mean exactly? Oh, um, well, you, you sort of crouch a bit. Crouch? Yeah. You mean I stick my butt out? That's probably what I mean. Oh, well. I'm working on it, but thanks to the loan of the board, Hey, Lauren? Yeah? Um, I didn't mean to suggest that, um, I mean, there's nothing wrong at all with your... What I mean to say is that you've got a really nice... Uh, I'm not saying this too well, am I? Actually, you said it very well. In fact, you couldn't have said it better. Oh, yeah. And there was one other thing that piece of paper did. It helped me deal with something that had been freaking me out my whole life. Oh, no. It's all right, Lauren. Relax. Come on. You scored nines in two heats. You can deal with this. All right, fella. We need to get something straight. This is my room, not yours, right? I may have been a loser last time you saw me, but I'm not anymore, OK? Good. Maybe we should both remember that from now on. <laughs>